In the latest Maud Howe update, a test level has been added with strike chambers disabled. Whilst this is an experimental change, there's a chance that it could transfer over to the main game. I've got mixed feelings on this change, as unlike other competitive issues like health regen, the chamber debate is far more nuanced. Just to bring everyone up to speed, a chamber is a special defensive attack that despite requiring a more precise input is often considered noobish, as it essentially removes the need to read feints. But before I delve into that, this video is brought to you today by... Well, that can't be right, who would sponsor a video about chambers? This video is sponsored by... Raid Shadow Legends, one of the top three ranked RPGs on Google Play. Raid is a turn-based game where you assemble a team from 16 factions. There's over a million champion builds allowing you to create your perfect hero. I'm six foot three, you mug. Unlike other games, Raid receives frequent big content updates. Raid has been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's User's Choice Award, no doubt partly due to having been downloaded 15 million times in the last six months. This game is so advanced you don't even have to play it, just use the auto battle mode. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I'm burning! Oh. You can even compete in weekly tournaments and see how you rank in the leaderboards. I think every competitive game needs a ranked leaderboard. If you like the sound of that, go to the video description, click on the special links and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Thank you Raid for the sponsor, now back to Chambers. So what are the issues with Chambers? Some people feel that they make a player's defensive capabilities too strong. As a result, strike feints don't pose a significant threat as not only are they relatively readable, they often get chambered. Whilst this is true, chambers cost 15 stamina, which is pretty significant, and any player that chambers too frequently will often get stammed out. There's already a mechanic in the game that largely counters chambers, Le Morph, so personally, I don't really have an issue with their presence. Chambers also allow for some extremely high level plays, like matrixing your opponent while simultaneously guarding yourself in case he corrects in time. I definitely miss jumping over drags whilst chambering, but conversely, I also enjoy the thrill of having to hard read again and forcing my opponents to do the same. This turns the spotlight on another long-standing issue with the game, which is that most feints aren't punishable in Mordhell. Without chambers, it often feels like the only viable option to deal with a flurry of feints is to sit back and attempt to read all of them. That's a pretty daunting prospect for most players, and it's also a little boring. If chambers aren't in the future of Mordhell, then feint lockouts and initiative lengths definitely need to be examined so that we can more regularly experience true feint punishing, which to me is the most exhilarating aspect of the genre. There's also a debate of how chambers influence team fights. Some will say that chambers make target switching too difficult, which is true to an extent, but again I find myself playing devil's advocate. Why should brainless target switching go unpunished? It doesn't take much skill to run away from your opponent and go and hit someone else in the back. 1vx enters the discussion as well. Two people chambering a single guy is indeed oppressive. But all those chambers will quickly drain their stamina, allowing the one to potentially capitalise and clutch. Chambers can also serve as a punish to those who miss intentionally, or minting as I term it, in order to raise a parry. If the one in this scenario can defend and attack simultaneously, a mint attempt will fail catastrophically. It's a complex change that impacts many facets of Mordhau. On the one hand, if removing strike chambers leads to better gameplay then I must support it, but it also prompts a number of other questions. What happens to strike to stab morphs, a mechanic that would no longer serve its original purpose whatsoever? Directional combat, already largely neglected, will become even more irrelevant. In the test map, my binds didn't work, so only two of my angled attacks functioned. It almost made no impact on my performance. If strike chambers are to be removed, that begs the question of when will stab chambers be removed? Clearly, the stab animations require attention, to say the least. And once all chambers are removed, what purpose will any morph serve besides a slightly cheaper and unpunishable feint? Speaking of unpunishable feints, when will actual feints be made more consistently punishable? Personally, I'm quite comfortable with hard reading, and whilst it will take time, I'll remove chambering from my muscle memory. But how will other less dedicated players take the change? After all, this mechanic was taught in the tutorial. The already large bridge between mid-tier players and melee deities will surely widen. How many will fall in the chasm? As always, feel free to start a discussion, and I'll weigh in where I see fit. He, he, he just baited him massively. Look at that quick start. Not. No way! Help me! 
He's accepted his fate. He's accepted it. What's going on here? What the hell? Angry. <laughs> well, I don't know who was in the right there, but Mike equals right, so he wins. Next level footwork. I can't die yet. You can't punish. The only, the only punish you have is a kick, and so easy to go even with the short weapon. Oh, we've got two torso boys, let's go. I'm down. He's still bowing, he's just like, yep, yeah, you killed my teammate, but I'm bowing now, ready to fight. I thought I threw that twice. Unthinkable throws there, but I'm still not going See what he does, yeah. No one's gonna punish it. Uh, I recognize he was minting, but not really much I could do. I can't just see you do that, man. I can't just see you do that.